we pray that God will inspire you to be excited by the vision that God's given us. Our vision for the Northern Ark is to form a partnership with the new secondary school that's being built up here and for this school to be a church school and for the point to be the church, the Church of England Church, attached to this school. And this will become a permanent home for the point. And as I pray, I encourage you when you're ready to blow onto your hand as if blowing those scraps of paper away and just handing them over to Jesus, not to pick them back up, but to leave them with him, to invite him to get involved. The answer is false. Yes! It was 40 days. So Will, you will be getting pied later yes. on the week. We are looking forward to that. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited that it's not me. And the angel says, Jesus, he's not here. He's risen from death, just as he said he would. And then in fear and astonishment and joy, they meet Jesus alive in front of them and their hope comes surging back. <laughs> As you can see, we've got our cakes. And the Bouncy Castle. <laughs> Better mention the Bouncy Castle. Where? So we'll just leave that there this morning. Some of the main things <laughs> that we've been missing. <laughs> can we eat some cake? Maybe you can eat some cake in a little while. Roll the titles. Oh, good right. morning, everyone. Good morning. Look, here we are. We're in our weird Christmas jumper that Liz gave us last year. So our tree up. Getting closer, yeah. The tree is here. <laughs> Bit difficult to there move. We go. <laughs> We've got our tree up. I hope you've got your tree up. So it doesn't matter if you're six. Or if you're 66 or 106, you can invite Jesus into your heart. Mm. Good morning Good again! Good morning again! <laughs> Lovely to welcome you to The Point Carol's Reimagined. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The tidings we bring to you. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us a piggy pudding. Now bring us a piggy pudding. Now bring us a piggy pudding and bring it right here. Good tidings we bring to you and your king. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We won't go until we got some. We won't go until we get some. We won't go. People approach Christmas preparations in very different ways, don't they? It was harder than normal to prepare, of course, this year because of COVID, but I still noticed that people were true to type and some of my friends and family had everything ready weeks before the big day and others hadn't posted a single card or got anything organised at all. I'm so amazed by the receipt and reading everything that Jesus has purchased for me that I end up walking out of the store and leaving it all in the store, in the trolley, and just the receipt. 
So I have all these things that Jesus has purchased for me, but I haven't actually taken possession of any of that. What does obeying God look like to you? Is it general kind of following the rules in the Bible and trying to live a good life? Or is it more relational than that? You know, going to God and asking, what do I do or how do I do this? It's amazing to let people know, to let our kids, to let our friends know. It's not about being perfect. It's not about having it all together, all the answers but it's knowing where to go to. It's a relationship in the big things and in the small things, the times of celebration and the times of sadness that we can come to Jesus like Mary did. And I just had to claim those scriptures and I had to, and then, and, and just take God's word on it and, and pray them back to God and say, this is your word and your word says that it, it will accomplish what it's been said to do. But, and the third time, where God changed the water into wine for me was getting involved in the church um, and Will asked me to join the prayer team and so and as they were praying I felt God's love just filling me up and embracing me and so what God seemed to have done is developed a prayer ministry for me with certain people um, uh, over time um, and that's the way he's been using me this year then I will still remember and the others that I have known and lost. I will remember them with the weight of human sadness in my heart. I will also pay respects to the generations who went before me and who sacrificed so much, often with little choice in the matter. Making changes in our parenting, even very small changes, can really impact and make a difference on our family life. So we're going beyond. We sit entirely for £20,000 on offer. We pay £46,220. How incredible is that? Monthly giving, the increase to our monthly giving, we have a target of £1,000. And we raise, we're going to be raising £1,150, which is just incredible. The Point Magazine. Yes, I hope you've received your copy. Uh, we're really excited about our new mag, Life at the Point, uh, the latest issue. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, and all be with us all and all that you love. In Jesus' name, Amen. Ooh, lovely, look at that ganache.
I'm Liz and I'm Kids Pastor at The Point and it's my delight to share with you a few highlights from the last six months of Point Kids. Now on Sundays our sessions are all online so why don't we take a look at what that looks like on a Sunday morning. Hello and welcome to Point Kids. So first of all we're going to do tea. Thanks. Dear God, I thank you for the food in this world. Amen. Now it's time for a nice cup of tea. Cheers. Um, I was watching Oscar do his testimony about he wants to pray for his granddad because his granddad hasn't met God yet. Yeah, and uh, that was a great testimony. Oscar shared it really well, didn't he, what he was doing. And it, it really challenged you. God spoke to you about doing something, didn't he? So As he was scattering the seed. And then came up with a brilliant idea. He came to a village where a woman named Martha. What if we could be like that, though? What if we could be the one who said, I'm going to listen to Jesus first? So this is the sort of bread Jesus had. So Jesus took the bread and when he gave them thanks, he broke it. King of my heart, king of my soul. Jesus, my friend. In the times a long, long time ago. Stronger than the power of the grave. We make the miracle work. It's good. amazing Carol, the amazing Margaret, and with Dale, Sam. Good morning everybody, it's Raymond Menu here. So it's just like all oh, into the pan, shakes it off the colander, okay? Boom. Ranger Malcolm here. Well, somebody God made has played our game this week. Let's go and find out who it is. Point Kids Ministry is for children aged 0 to 11 years old and designed to help all children encounter God and his amazing love and develop a personal, strong, deep faith in him. I think you'll agree that at Christmas it was absolutely delightful to see over 30 of our children engaging in the service by leading our nativity play. As well as our Sunday gatherings, we've also had some family gatherings on Zoom. We had a Christingle service, a birthday party where several children made first time public declarations for Christ and our God's Love is Big event. All of these were brilliant. The Point Preschoolers have had three themes this year term. Characters of Christmas, Big Bible Stories and My Friend Jesus. It's really delightful to see them engaging with our post packs at home. Throughout all the different ministries at Point Kids, the highlights for me are hearing and seeing how God is at work in the lives of boys and girls and their families. The Raising Faith course was a really great way of engaging with parents and resourcing them and inspiring them to walk with Jesus. But also hearing testimonies of what God has done in the children's life has brought a great delight to my heart. It's been lovely to work with the wider kids team in providing our Sunday provisions online and our post packs home. The new mini mag series for those in primary school age have been a real success this year. If you want to know any more about the kids ministry email liz at thepointchurch.co.uk. Bye bye!